At the end of chapter 52, Natsu revealed, at, at least in his head, he didn't give a full strategy yet, he just said that he's figured out a way to beat Alderaan. And I have my own theory on this. And there's the first one I think is the easier one that I can just kind of like get through really fast. And it's just like, oh yeah, neat. Is if Natsu ended up making a bunch of versions of him and he ended up fighting them. Either he's fighting himself and getting stronger, or maybe he t like makes all these copies and he's like, oh, let's all team up against Alderaan. I don't think it's that one because it'd be really weird if you had this, yeah, I have this ability that makes all these uh, copies of, you know, uh, of people that, uh, uh, you know, the, these enemies think are strong in their hearts. I could make like these clones of them. But then it's just like, yeah, they just turn on them. They're like, what's the point of making them? You're just helping them. The idea either of Natsu having them turn into himself or they turn into people he's fought, characters that he's fought throughout the series. I don't, which including, I won't think, uh, well, excluding Zeref and Akronologi, because I don't think that'd be a good idea for him to think of them. But, um, you know, all these, like, easy characters like it right here, you know, Animus, Mard Gear, Future Rogue, uh, Ikus and Tsunagi, and Ikus and Tsunagi obviously wouldn't be uh, much of a fight. Well, I guess none of them would really be much of a fight to Natsu now, except for probably Animus, but... If they're in mass, then, you know, it's not just like there's one of them. It looks like there's dozens. If he's fighting them on huge hordes, it's going to, you know, be enough to make them stronger. And and as well as I, I, I put Eclipse Leo in here because I was just like, it'd be really cool. Maybe we can get have some, like, confirmation of if that arc is canon. If, if he ended up like, I'm just going to think of all the bad guys I fought. You know, makes a bunch of them and then keeps fighting them until he's more powerful. It, in terms of, like, that, there it'd be cool in the idea of, oh, yeah... He's, you know, you're going to get to see him just pretty much in, like, one chapter go through all of his enemies, like, at once, and there's multiples of them. That'd be super badass. But also in the idea of, I think in the the more, like, aggressive one, where if they made a bunch of versions of himself, and he's just knocking down, like, constant Natsus, like, one after another, and he's just got to, like, beat them all. You know, maybe they start dropping their other forms, like, you know, Lightning Flame Dragon Mode, Dragon Force, Fire Dragon King Mode. And I don't think it will be like, oh yeah, he does this, and then he's strong enough to beat Alderaan. I think it's just like an idea for him to become more powerful. That'd be actually really badass if he's training on the back of this guy he's trying to beat, and then maybe not. It's like maybe not even like one time. Maybe Natsu keeps coming back here, and we just seem to get stronger. I don't know. It's I, I, it'd be weird for him to keep coming back, but maybe just like before he leaves, he's just constantly like fighting versions of himself or these uh you know copies of his former enemies to get stronger for later fights because it'd be really weird if he just got like went from the gap of where he's at now to being able to fight Alderaan especially when we just found out like his base form is literally one one hundredth million of Alderaan and and there's which is crazy because then you think like Ethereus Dragon Force like the boost for that is ridiculous but um when you really think about where he's at now and where he's gonna be obviously that's a big gap i don't think it's gonna be as easy as like oh yeah right now i could easily see like some form of small time skip maybe some form of just like training arc where it's just like yeah we're gonna train and then maybe they get stronger i i would like that if that's in between like uh dragon gods like maybe after this they start to kind of like oh yeah we need to figure things out but i also think that diablos is gonna have to play a role in that they're gonna have to like learn um you know the train and learn from them because i don't think they're bad guys i think right now they're just um, antagonists, and eventually maybe they'll become allies, but it's going to be a crazy thing, because you know if it's a plan Natsu had, it's going to be really crazy, but really straightforward, and like I said, just turning this into a training, kind of like, oh, I'm going to use this to get more powerful by, you know, having multiple powerful enemies constantly come at me, would make sense. It's going to really, it's going to really just kind of uh, unfold uh, in the next chapter. It's 12 days away, unfortunately, but I very much look forward to that. So in the next chapter, we'll find out how crazy this goes. And uh, until then, I'd really appreciate it. If you would, in the comments, because this actually has a question, um, if you could tell me, what do you think Nazi's plan is? What do you think, like, in his head, hey, what is the, well, how am I going to utilize this into beating Alderaan? Is he just going to try and make a giant bonfire? Is he going to use this to get stronger? My guess is some form of uh, training through this and just boost himself up. But other than that, uh, comment below, thumbs up the video, but for the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But other than that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed, and I thank you all for listening. Bye.